I, I went from being shocked to crying hysterically. For this mother of two, it was a traumatic ordeal the day her now ex-husband told her their marriage was over. He wrote me a letter saying he would take care of the house and that, you know, we probably wouldn't be getting divorced. And the next thing I know it, two weeks later, there's an officer at the door serving me papers in front of my children. Nothing, she says, could have prepared her for the stark reality of divorce and the many questions and emotions that followed. It just got worse from there. Attorney Kathy Lively has helped countless wives, husbands, and couples through divorce. We asked her what advice she gives clients served with divorce papers. The first thing a, a person who gets served really should do, number one, read the paperwork. Take a deep breath, then call a lawyer. Lively urges anyone to seek an attorney's opinion to review the documents and discuss their legal rights. Then she suggests you gather all financial documents. Copies of your bank statements, credit card statements, copies of any documentation showing your assets, real property, personal property, stock, investments. And Lively says protecting bank accounts is a must. As far as protecting your bank accounts, you've got to look at how that bank or how the account is titled. And it's going to depend on the state law. Typically, if an account is in both names, you may have the right to go into the bank and close that down, but talk to an attorney to make sure that you are not doing anything that will jeopardize your position legally. As far as credit cards go, if the card's in your name and your spouse is a secondary user, Attorney Lively suggests you consider shutting down the account to protect your credit. And finally, what about the kids? You've got to look at the custody situation and make sure that your children are protected emotionally, that they are not involved in the case whatsoever, and proceed from there as to who will have the physical custody and time sharing. And if you can't agree upon that, that's another reason why experts suggest you seek legal counsel. An attorney can go over your rights as they pertain to the case.